tonight, baby. How else you call me that? It's Fearless Francis Buxton. And yeah, tonight, Chaz, you're going down. 1994 is the year of the Buxton man. Every wrestler in the GWF, you're on notice because Francis is here and you're going down. We'll see that match right after this. 217. Now, from Biloxi, Mississippi, he weighs in at 297 pounds. Cry, baby, Francis. Well, there he is, Crybaby Buxton, the man who uh, asked that everyone call him Fearless Francis. Uh, I don't, I don't see how you can possibly call him Fearless Francis Buxton. Just... As it was Guess who's joined me at ringside? The witch doctor, Doctor Baboose. Is, uh, Buxton has climbed out of the ring. Yes, Francis? It's time to start the show now. I got a little quick announcement to make to all my fans here. 1993 was a so-so year for Francis Buxton. One year ago tonight, this man cheated and beat me in the middle of the ring. Tonight, Chaz, 1994 is Buxton's year. And you're gonna get what you deserve, you little sissy. He's a sissy. Well, you, 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 hear the, you hear the words of Francis Buxton. I think that Francis Buxton is probably the second greatest wrestler in the world, next to, of course, Iceman, the real heavyweight champion, champion. in the world. Who was stripped uh -huh. of his title. Ring the bell, the referee says. Now, wait a minute. What are you talking about, Babu? Stripped wrong. of his title. Stripped of it. But I want to tell everybody that I'm glad that they're giving me a lot of support and helping me getting rid of that low-down, racist Greg Pearson. But I'm going to give him a new name. His name ain't Greg Pearson. He's a pilgrim. That's right, dog. A you pilgrim. Yeah, you remember the pilgrims when they first came here to this country. Listen to what he said, boy. You hear me? I hear you. Now, when they first came to this country here, I know a little bit about American history. Supposed to be American. This was belongs to the Indians. When the pilgrims came, they played like they were friends. And they ripped them off and took their land. And that's the same thing that that low-down Greg Pearson is going to do to these people. Kinda, He's fooling them. Is that kind of like Akbar did with Moadib when he stole Moadib? Don't worry you? about that. I, mean, I got a surprise for Akbar. You're down. You're down to only one wrestler you in your stable now. And, and from what I understand, you're, you're broke too. He's the greatest wrestler. That's who we have. The greatest wrestler in the whole GWA. Well, Chaz really working over Buxton. What a drop kick sends Buxton right into the ropes. And I notice that Buxton doesn't have his mama here tonight. I think Chaz has a foreign object in his hand, and that's why Buxton's in the corner. Well, if you Always look at cheating. Always if, cheating. If you look at Chaz's hands, uh, the camera was right there. No. Chaz has got nothing in his hands. You're watching this through Coke bottle glasses, Doyle. You know that you're so stupid. I heard that you sold your land, you sold your water skis because you couldn't find a lake on a hill. <laughs> that's real funny, Baxter. Why don't he give the man a chance? Look at him. Always cheating, trying to pull his hair. Who? He's just jealous because his hair is prettier. Who? Who? Who is Buxton? Buxton pulling Chaz's hair? No, Doyle King, are you blind? You need to keep your eye on this match. There's Chaz moving in on Buxton up against the turnbuckle. Big forearm. Reverse knife edge. Chaz. Here's the whip. Buxton in the corner. Oh, look at that. Buxton moved out. What a quick move on the part of Buxton. Now, yeah. now who's pulling the hair? What? Now who's pulling the hair? What? Payback. That's what it is. It's payback. Buxton using the top row. Oh, he's biting in the ear of Chaz. And Buxton with the upper hand now. You know, Chaz is getting exactly what he deserves. He's nothing but a Billy Ray Cyrus wannabe. I want to know one thing. I want to know why they got Iceman name on the bottom of the list when he's still the world champion in my eyes in after your, being cheated. In, in your eyes. In your eyes. That's the only place that he's the champion. Yeah. It's a discrimination. It's racial discrimination. 
Chris Adams can do anything he wants. He can beat up on juveniles. He can do anything he wants. I got him. Right where I want him. Good luck, baby. Good luck. Chaz and Buxton square off again. Going back to that subject of Iceman. All over the top rope, but look at this. Chaz pulls himself back into the ring, and what a surprise on Buxton. Now Buxton's thrown him over again, and Chaz, look at the strength just to pull at himself back over that rope. He smashes Buxton's head down. You seen that hair pulling in there? Did you see him? Look at him pulling his hair. Yeah, he pulled his hair that time. Turnabout's fair play, isn't it? That's what you always say. Like I tried to say a minute ago before I was so rudely interrupted by you, Doyle King. The reason that Chris Adams has that belt around his waist is because he beat Chris Ad he beat Iceman King Parsons oh, fair and square. He beat something in Iceman eyes. He squirted acid. Ring the bell, the referee says. This match is this match is over with. Drop kick on Buxton and Buxton rolls to the outside. Wait a minute! Your winner, the American Heartthrob, Chaz. How did he win? You were very surprised by that win. That, uh, you lost again to him. 1994 is starting out just like 1993, isn't it, Crybaby? He was in my hair. Referee. The referee didn't do anything about it. Everybody saw him. He pulled him. Referee, exactly, John Keaton, John Keaton, exactly what was the decision for? Buxton was disqualified for re refusing to wrestle and also pulling the hair constantly during the match. All right, there you have the referee, John Keaton's decision on that battle.